In the last episode we filtered our vehicles by location. And in this quick episode I just want to show you how to do the same thing but on the API side. We are not going to be using this method throughout this series, but I just want to make you aware that this kind of thing is possible. And also that there are cases in which this method would be preferred. One of those cases would be that instead of just having two vehicles and three locations, you would have hundreds or maybe even thousands of records that you need to filter out. So in that case, it wouldn't make any sense to get all of those thousands of records and then filter them on the front end. It would be much better to just send a parameter to your API and let it deal with the filtering. And then just send that filtered list to you. So in this episode, we are going to be doing just that. So in our reservation form that view, we are just going to create another method, which is going to be called filter vehicles on MPI. So on API and uh, it's going to use an action, which is going to be called filter on API. Right, so we are going to create that action in our store. And uh, now we are just going to go to our onSelect method and set this to be on API. So filter vehicles on MPI when somebody selects something from our locations list. Okay, save this. Now we need to go to our store and actually create that method. And that method is not going to be similar to this filter vehicles, but it's more going to be sim similar to this get vehicles method. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it right here uh, and call it uh, filter, what did we call it? So filter, filter on API, great. So filter on API, we are going to need the commit and the value which we are sending right here. So we are sending that value and then we wanna hit uh, an endpoint which is going to be called vehicles filter filter plus value. So we are sending uh, the ID of our location to our vehicles filter endpoint. Okay, great. We're just going to comment this out for the time being and just see what do, what do we get from our response. So response data dot log. So we want to console log response data. Save this. Now in our routes that PHP, we are just going to copy this vehicles route, call it vehicles filter, and we want it to accept an ID, right? And then we need to define that an, uh, that ID in our function. And I'm just going to delete this and just get the ID. So we are just want to return that ID. So just that I can show you how this works. Let's save this. Uh, go to our browser and now if I choose a location from here, now you can see that I get the ID of location. So New York is one, Paris is two, Peckham is three. Great. So we are sending the IDs of our locations to our API. Now we need to write some PHP code to filter our vehicles, but by that ID. So remember, we need to return the list of vehicles uh, from our API. And to do that, we are just going to do vehicles. Vehicles equal to vehicle. And now we are going to use this method where has. Where has, so where vehicles have locations. And we are going to query those vehicles. And we need to use our ID. Okay. Now uh, we just want to do that query and find the vehicles where uh, they have the uh, ID, where the ID of location is equal to our ID the ID that we are sending. Okay, and then we just do get. Okay, now just return vehicles instead of ID. And 
and uh, that should be it I forgot this dollar sign okay save this now uh, let's just go to our browser and just see what we are getting so if I go to Paris as you can see I get one object with the ID title and so on if I go to New York I get array with two objects and so on so we are actually getting our locations now what we just need to do is I'm just going to go to my store.js and now we just need to uh, commit those changes to our state and to do that I'm just going to actually copy this from our filtered list I'm going to use the same mutation so set filtered for this example I'm not going to make a new new mutation for that so set filtered and response data and that should be actually it if we go right here choose a location New York as you can see we get two vehicles we get one we get one and so on so as you can see you can create the same thing just the other way around so let your backend filter the data and as I said at the beginning of this video this method is sometimes preferred especially when dealing with large amounts of data because you know what's on your backend you know what kind of server you're using you know what kind of power is available to you but if you're doing that on the front end you never know if the user is using a phone from 2012 if they have a slow computer if they have a fast computer you don't know how fast their hardware can actually filter out your list so it's much better to leave that uh, to the back end when you have those large amounts of data okay so this has been it for this episode remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below and as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one